Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part seven of my After Effects tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to slow down your videos, add ghosting and motion blur, make videos go backwards, forwards, change speeds, and I'm also going to show you how to make your videos start and stop, and I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. All right, so all the videos I'm using are royalty-free videos from this website, and there's a link in the description. And I'm going to go and import some videos. So just come in here and import and file. And let's see what I want to go and get. I'm going to get electric waste. I am going to get cars, skate jump, and skateboarder table jump. And I'm not going to create compositions for these. And I am going to use them as footage. So just click on open. And here they all are. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do motion stretching, which is going to allow us to slow as well as speed up our videos. I'm going to start with this skateboarder table jump that I have here. Just drag it down into our composition, and this is a really cool video. Oh, by the way, if you want to mute the sound, just come over here, click on this little speaker, and now it's muted. And here comes my video. So what I want to do is slow down that animation because it's really cool. Well, I'm going to need to first go and expand the in and out stretch panes. And everything works the same on Windows and Mac. It's right down here. So just click on that. And now you can see right here where it's going to allow us to stretch, which is the same as saying we want to speed up and slow down our video. Now, if you lower stretch below 100, it's going to go faster and above makes your video slow down. So what I want to do is come in here and sort of figure out where I want it to start slowing down at. And I think right about here looks pretty good. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down either command or control with shift and D. That's going to split that layer. And then I'm going to come forward here and decide when I want it to speed up again. So I'm going to say that right there looks good. So again, Command or Control, Shift, D, and that splits that layer again. Now this part, I'm going to select the beginning of our video. And I'm going to come into the stretch area. I'm just going to click on it. And I'm going to go and take this to 25 and click on OK. As you can see, it got shorter. You can go and grab your other sequences here and hold down shift and they will snap in place and do that for all of them. All right, so as it starts, it's going to come in here, go really fast, and then I want to slow down the part where he's jumping. So again, I'm going to go into stretch and I'm going to take this up to 200. Click on OK. And again, grab this other sequence and hold shift so that it snaps into place. And then let's go and take that down to 25 as well. Like that, 25 and OK. So now let's come back and let's take a look at it. So it's going fast and then right there it slows down a lot. And you can play around with it to decide how slow you want it to be. Maybe we want to go and do something crazy like make it 300. Boom. And then shift, drag in place, comes in and then goes really slow and cool. All right, neat stuff. Now we could come in and do all kinds of other crazy different effects inside of here. Let's go and let's say I'm, not, I'm just going to pull up something that I think looks crazy. So I just typed in TV in the effects area and I got bad TV. Let's go and drag that on here. Drop it in and let's see what that looks like. And that's just going to sort of add like an effect to it. That's just, you know, like a goofy sort of line effect. And you can see it's rendering here. And this is a 4K video. That's the reason why it looks so clear. And there we go. And then we can bounce back and run it again. And there you can see pretty cool stuff. And there is one example of how we can go and speed up and slow down videos inside of After Effects. I'm going to go to my project area. I'm going to create a new composition. And this time I'm going to use the skate jump. So I'm just going to come in here, new composition. It's a 1080p video. And I'm going to set my frame rate for 30 on this. But before I do that, I want to talk about something. If I come in here to Skate Jump right here, and then I come down here and click on Interpret Footage, you're actually going to see that it is set for 23.97 frames per second. If you want to change that, just click here, change it to 30. And then After Effects is going to go in and fill in any of the empty frames to get to 30 frames per second. 
to make it look nice and smooth for you. You can also see sometimes you're going to get footage where the start time code is actually not at zero. If you want to set this to zero, you can force that. So just set that to zero. And also you may sometimes want your videos to loop. If you want to do that, just go and increase the loop up here. So that's some things you can do with interpret footage. I'm going to go, okay. Once again, this is interpret footage. If you didn't see what I clicked on. So now what I'm going to do is go new composition with all the information that I just set. And I'm going to call this skate jump and click on OK. And then I'm going to go and grab skate jump and drag it down inside of here. And this is just another way to go and do animations. Now what I want to do for this is I actually want to protect the beginning part. Another thing here is this is kind of dark if you want to go and brighten it up. Just type in bright and brightness and contrast as an effect. Drag it onto your video clip. And then let's go and change the brightness. Let's take it up to, I don't know, it's getting a little bit washed out. But let's take it up to 65 or something like that. All right, so now it's a lot brighter. Well, what we're going to use here is what is called responsive design. And what it's going to allow us to do is to protect different regions of our video and keep them from being edited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cycle through my video and I'm going to find out exactly where I want to start protecting this, which is going to be the jump. So let's say it's right about there. What I can do is I can just hit B and then I'm going to go to where I want this to start speeding up again. Let's say that it's right there, right before it hits the ground. And then I'm going to hit N. All right. So B to define the beginning and to define the end. Then what I can do is come in here and right click on this and say create protected region from work area. Click on that and now everything is going to be blue. And you can go and grab these little bars here and move them right or left if you want to change the area that is protected. Whatever you'd like to do. You can also come in here, of course you could just undo it, but if you for some reason want to come in and delete this, you can just come in and right click on the end here and click on delete this marker and that's going to get rid of it. But I have that defined as a protected region inside of this composition, which is called skate jump. Now what I can do is come in here and create another one. So I'm going to say new composition and let's call this final skate jump. Looks good enough. Click on OK and then go and get the skate jump composition that I have protected. Drop it down inside of here. You're going to see right here that the part where he's jumping is actually blue. But what I can do is select this whole entire thing, come into the stretch area. So let's take it inside of here and let's go 50 and let's come back to it again and play it. And it is going to speed up going to the point where we are going to jump. And then automatically when it gets to the jump area, it's going to look like it's going slower. All right. And of course we could come in and let's change this to 20 and click on OK. And again, it's going to come in and it's going to go much faster and then slow down again. So there is another way for you to be able to come in and increase the speed of and slow down the videos that you have. Another thing you might want to do is let's say you wanted to go through your videos frame by frame. You can hold down either control or command and then go right or left on your the arrow keys on your keyboard. So that's going to allow you to sort of like cycle through your videos right and left. And if we go back, let's say that I want, well, let's just do it with this one. Let's say we come in here to this guy right here and we decide that we want to add in ghosting effects and blurs. Actually, let's go down to our original one. I liked it a little bit better. So let's come back into this one. And let's say that we want to come in and we want to add like a ghosting type of effect to it. We can go and select that. And then you can go right here. This is called frame blending. And if you go and click it once, it's going to give you a little bit of a sloppy type of ghosting effect. See? It's like you can sort of see through him. And I kind of actually like that one pr pretty good. 
see there's like a ghosting effect being created there which is really neat and you can also add blurs to it this guy right here is going to add motion blur and you can play around with motion blur in different ways so see it sort of adds like a little bit of an, a neat effect on there and there is another way of doing this if you click it again and this time it's actually going to be smooth and it's not going to have sort of like that ghost effect but there's a little bit of it in there and it's mainly being accentuated by the fact that I also have motion blur on it. All right, so I just wanted to show you that also and it's being jerky here because it's rendering the video as it's going through. So if we just go like this, you can see there it goes. All right, so I just wanted to show you also different blending and ghosting and blurring effects that you can add really easily just by checking a checkbox. Let's come in and create another composition. So new composition and this is all okay so click on that and it's called comp one i'm going to change the name to it i'm going to change it to cars and now i'm going to show you how to speed up decrease and do all kinds of other different things with different effects all right so we have cars selected here let's go and drag these cars down inside of here all right so here's some traffic and i'm going to show you how to speed it up and slow it down and backwards and forward make it go in reverse and all kinds of stuff using an effect so that effect is called time warp so just type in time warp in your effect panel and let's come in here and drag it down inside of here and i'm just going to leave most of this the same i'm just going to be keyframing the speed here and what it's doing is it's a percentage of frames that are going to be displayed is what you're actually going to be changing here so let's just go and increase and decrease the number of frames that are being shown on your screen. How you can do that is just click on the little stopwatch here. Then if you come down inside of cars, well, first let's come up inside of here and let's change this to 100, which means that is the normal speed for the video is what that is. It's like a percentage type of thing. What we can do is come in and under effects, and time warp you can see here speed and then you can just go and set different keyframes so let's go to like one like that there's the time code oh another thing you can do is you can also show the frames instead of your time codes just by holding down either command or control and clicking on that see that's frames and that is your time all right 30 frames per second is how that works all right so what we want to do is we want to add a keyframe here so just put that right there and then let's go and let's increase this to say 700 all right and then let's go and move ahead again two seconds and let's go and slow it down or something so let's go whoops go and put my keyframe inside of there so let's go and slow this down let's say to 50 like that and then let's go and go in reverse. So I went to three seconds this time. And again, put another keyframe down inside of here. And I'm gonna say negative 200, like that. And let's go and play it. So you can sort of see the weirdness that's here. All right, so it's going slow and then it's going to start speeding up what's rendering right now. All right, rendering's done. It's going really fast, then it's going slow, then it's going in reverse. All right, and it's gonna continue doing that as long as it has frames to work with, and then it's going to continue going in the correct direction. All right, so there is another way for you to manipulate and work with different speeds with your videos. Now I'm gonna show you how to make your videos start and stop. So I have this thing called electric waste. It was the only thing I could find on a conveyor belt. I wanted to use a conveyor belt for this. So I'm going to go new composition once again, and let's just let it be called comp one. Perfectly fine. Let's go and get my electric waste and drag it down here inside of there. Good stuff. And if you want to be able to start and stop your animations, you're going to need to enable time remapping. And to do that, you're going to right click on the name of your video here, go to time and say enable time remapping. All right, so now you're going to be able to do that. You can see time remap shows up down here. And now what I wanna do is I'm just going to go forward. So let's say one second, and I'm going to add a keyframe. And I'm gonna do this a whole bunch of times. So another two seconds this time, and just keep on going. Three seconds, 
four seconds and I'm just clicking on this little guy to make keyframes five seconds and six seconds all right and keyframe so what I'm going to do is this is all perfectly fine I'm not going to change this first key uh, keyframe here but I'm going to go to the second one we have here and you can see that that's at one second let's say I wanted to pause it what I can do is go to this second keyframe right here and let's set that to one second and I'm just going to click here and drag it to one second jump to the next one that's right after this this is at three seconds and I'm gonna set this one from four seconds to three seconds right like that and jump to the next one and it is set for five seconds and I'm going to come to this last one and set this to five seconds so five seconds also and as you're gonna see it is going to cause your video to start and stop over and over and over again see stops for a full second and there we go look like there was something a little bit off there yeah it went in reverse for some sec some for one second let's make sure I got everything right yes for this keyframe I want this to also be three seconds and set this for three seconds there we are and if it's off by a little bit it will jerk so make sure you get it on there five seconds and then this is five seconds so the jerkiness should go away now yep there you are and looking good so that's how you start and stop your videos another thing you can do is you could come in here and let's just click right here where it says graph editor and you can go and mess around with these different guys to change your easing well these are all squared off and I don't want that so what I want to do is I want to come in and I want to select all my keyframes and then I'm going to hit F9 and that is going to allow me to ease them see now they're hourglasses all right so go back into graph editor and there you can see them and now what you can do is you can come in here and speed up these animations if you'd like let's go and show animated properties all this is fine and edit speed graph is what you want to have checked and then what I'm going to do is go and grab these little handles here and let's make them kind of spiky and that's going to give them sort of a lot jerkier sort of movements so it's going to go boop and then boop and then bloop and so forth and so on so there you go guys there is numerous different ways to speed up slow down and mess around with your videos hopefully you found that useful and like always please leave your questions and comments down below otherwise till next time